guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I actually was not planning on filming today, but a couple days ago, I watched a live action Mulan and let me tell you, it was fucking bad. And every time I think about it, it just makes me mad. So I was like, you know what is good content? Avatar. Okay, what happened in the last few episodes actually now that I think about it? Oh, Zuko changed sides. I am so excited. I cannot wait to see him working with Aang, working with the gang. They'll be complete all four elements plus Sokka. Dude, oh my god. The dream team! Also, they failed to uh, defeat the Fire Lord during uh, the Day of Black Sun, which is a... Uh, that sucks. But now they have Zuko. They have a somewhat of an advantage now. Well, I mean, it's not like they didn't have an advantage back then, but like, it's just a different angle, you know? All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, this is episode 12. Sorry guys, but Appa gets tired carrying all these people. Yeah, you have to you have to give Appa a break. They're probably on their way to a prison. Seems like my dad just got out. Now he's going back in. Hey, we're here. I can feel it. No, she's right. We are here. Oh, is it down there? It's amazing. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> There he is, there's Zuko. A new and improved Zuko. God, I wonder how they're gonna react when they see him. First we'll check each of the air temples. Then we'll scour the world, searching even the most remote locations until we find him. Wow, really ambitious. Do you know how long that would take? You can't visit every single place what else would I in your lifetime. The laziest man in the fire nation. He did not have to attack Uncle Iroh like that. His regret. <gasps> He's not ready? He's not ready to face them? I don't know how he's gonna go up to them without them freaking out. Maybe it will be Katara, you know? Cause like Katara saw like a different side of him when they were underground together. So maybe she can like vouch. Or Toph will be like, he's not lying. Wow, I like Aang's new fit. Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? Zuko! There's gotta be someone who can teach him firebending. Is, is, this, is this when Zuko comes in? Hello, Zuko here. Uh, but I guess you probably already know me. You know, when I was attacking you? Uh, yeah, I guess I should apologize for that. Oh my god, he's so I, awkward. I, I love know. this. What would Uncle do? Zuko, you have to look within yourself. <laughs> what would Azula do? No. The Azula method would not work here. Or I can do something unspeakably horrible to you and your friends. Your choice. Wow, that was pretty spot on. I guess I'm not that good at impersonations. Oh no, I thought that was pretty spot on for both of them. <laughs> Hello, Zuko here. <laughs> he actually did that. <laughs> oh, Appa can sense him. Oh, Appa can sense how good he is now. <laughs> Appa is best character. You can't possibly think that any of us would trust you, can you? I mean, how stupid do you think we are? Yeah, all you've ever done is try to hunt us down. Good points, good egg. points. Wait, you said combustion man after us? Why aren't you saying anything? You once said you thought we could be friends. Oh, he remembered that. We'll never let you join us. <laughs> it's realistic Either that really they wouldn't accept him automatically. If you won't accept me as a friend, then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. Man, couldn't Toph feel he wasn't lying? Maybe he has to like fight the third eye guy and gain their trust after that. Maybe Zuko has to save their lives or risk his life for them, for them to realize he is telling the truth. He is serious. But yeah, don't know why he thought it would work out automatically. As much as I want that to happen, it's not how it works. Just not how it works. Telling them I sent an assassin after them? Why did I just say Azula did that? They would have believed that? Stupid! <laughs> hey man, you're telling the truth and that's what counts. Remember when you two were sick and I got captured by Zhao? And you made us suck on frozen frogs? Oh, oh yeah. Know. And what was all that crazy stuff about setting Appa free? What a liar. Actually, he wasn't lying. I'm just saying that considering his messed up family and how he was raised, he could have turned out a lot worse. Yeah, he could have turned out You're like Azula. Right, Toph. Let's go find him and give him a medal. The not as much of a jerk as you could have been award. All I know yeah. is you're all ignoring one crucial fact. Aang needs a firebending teacher. Ugh. I'm beginning to wonder who's really the blind one around. Yeah, okay. 
Spit some facts, Toph! Oh, Who's I hope there? it's Uncle Iroh. Stay there. Oh shit! Okay, that was but that was my second guess. You burned my feet! I'm sorry! It was Oh feet. no, not her feet. <laughs> Fuck. Go! Why am I so bad at being good? <laughs> uh honestly, I can't blame him though. He got surprised. See? You trusted Zuko. It wasn't his burned. fault though. He was literally surprised. Can't he just fire him? And be like, hey, I don't need your services anymore, so like you can go home now. The mission is off. I'm ordering you to stop. <laughs> Damn, I guess firing him does not work. Oh shit! A fire shield? That's pretty sick, not gonna lie. That that is pure luck right there. If that vine was not there, he would have fallen to his death. <laughs> Woo! Except that didn't do shit to him, but Bruh, how? How? Damn. See, I told you, you need to invest in some glasses or something, bro. Wait, did he just kill himself? Oh yeah, they were there too. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thanks, Zuko. I thought I had lost my honor and that somehow my father could return it to me. But I know now that no one can give you your honor. It's something you earn for yourself by choosing to do what's right. I need to be more careful and control my bending so I don't hurt people unintentionally. When I first tried to learn firebending, I burned- Yeah, fire. like when he when he I burned Toph, it reminded me of that scene when he accidentally burned Katara. I think it got cut out in my video with the Jong Jong episode because that video got copyrighted, so I, I had to like cut out the entire episode. So I do remember that happened. I'd like you to teach me. Thank you. Give me one reason to think you might hurt Aang. I'll make sure your destiny ends right then and there. Permanently. Damn. Willing to kill for her man Aang. <sighs> I'm so happy that Zuko is in their group now to think of what's gonna happen next now that he's in their group. Ooh, I'm so excited to see it. Kinda sad that Uncle Iroh didn't appear in this episode, but that's okay. He'll appear eventually. Honestly, I don't have much else to say about this episode. Everything happened the way I kind of expected it to happen. Like, he came up, they didn't accept him at first, then he had to prove himself, and of course, the third-eyed guy had to come in, so I was thinking that maybe it had something to do with that man. Did not expect him to, like, die, but, I mean, one less problem to worry about, I guess. Yeah, I, I didn't expect anything less from Katara. You know, she cares about her friends a lot. Totally understand how reluctant she is about letting him in. All right, this is episode 13. <laughs> he doesn't have that rage in his heart. He doesn't have that fire in his heart. Sorry, Sifu Hotman. Hotman, stop. I've lost my stuff. Don't look at me. I didn't touch your stuff. <laughs> you went through my stuff. Maybe you're just not as good as you think you are. Ouch. Oh no, damn. Katara is just making some blows. So, all we need to do is make Zuko angry. Easy enough. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be another Yeah, because um, Uncle Iroh didn't have to be angry to use firebending. Oh, she licked him. The original firebenders were the dragons, and they're extinct. Maybe they can find another dragon. Are they actually extinct? I know they weren't around when I was a kid. No. You're still a kid. Either I find a new way to firebend, or the Avatar has to find a new teacher. Maybe Uncle Iroh can teach him, wherever he is. In our group, typically we start out our missions with a more upbeat attitude. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> this booby trap must be centuries old, and it still works. You can't just walk through those spikes? This seems promising, though... So I'm not sure what this Whoa. Is about the original source that looks of so cool. He started the tradition of hunting dragons for glory, and you'd earn the honorary title, Dragon. Ooh. The last great dragon was conquered long before I was born by my uncle. It's locked up! Just fly over it. It's a celestial calendar, but we might be able to speed time up. Oh, I was gonna say, I was Let's like, refract the light. Sunstone. Oh, 
big brain. I don't care what everyone else says about you. You're pretty smart. You raggedy bitch. I think this is some kind of sun warrior firebending form. Ooh. This better teach us some really good fire. It's so cool. It feels. Oh, was that Dragon Egg? Oh, fuck. Oh, no! His new stick! At least we have air. Okay, but there's stuff. What do you think we should do? Think about our place in the universe? <laughs> oh my god, he's going through an existential crisis right now. Oh my god, Ant Eaters? Fucking zot zot! You must learn them from the masters, Ran and Shaw. They'll read your hearts, your souls, and your ancestry. If they and your ancestry? Really your flame's gonna go out because it's too small. But what if I can't control it? You can do it. I know you can. You're a talented kid. Oh, Homies. Your ancestors are directly responsible for the dragon's disappearance. Have you forgotten that you vanished, allowing the Fire Nation to wreak havoc on the world? The decline of the dragons is your burden too. Oh, fuck. They are only mere children. Whoa, is this a Sonic game? Shelters! Ooh, that's where the ending... Those who wish to meet the masters Ran and Shaw will now present <laughs> I don't know why that announcer voice was so funny to me. Those who wish to meet the masters Ran and Shaw will now... Are they dragons? What's happening? Wait, you're fire, bro. Wait, you're fire! Stop cheating off me! Quit being Wait, stingy. you can share fire? What? Are you serious? Uh, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, it's like those red and blue- It's like those red and blue dragons that uh, showed up in Zuko's dream. Fuck, I don't remember which video that was from. Um, but like, Zuko was dreaming. There was two dragons, one with Uncle Iroh's voice and one with Azula's voice. Oh, here it comes. Any moment now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa scary. Woo. Jesus, they must be sweating so much. <gasps> Beautiful. I understand. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Iroh was the last outsider to face the masters. They deemed him worthy and passed the secret on to him. That's why he can firebend without being fucking angry. It's like the sun, but inside of you. Do you guys realize this? Well, <laughs> we have no choice but to imprison you here forever. JK? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> it's not a dance. It's a firebending form. Kind of is a dance, though. What's your little form called? The dancing dragon. <laughs> oh, they're getting along. I love it. I love it. That episode was great. I loved it. Oh, I love seeing more firebending, the characters learning more about themselves, Zuko's inner conflict, how he was able to find his purpose again, Aang overcoming his fears. Oh, love that. That was such a great episode. Also, very, very beautiful imagery, I must say. Like, that picture that they first came across, that was so beautiful. Oh my god, someone took the time to animate that. The dragons were awesome. The colors, oh my god, that was just oh, it was visual eye candy. Alright, this is episode 14. Would you like to hear Uncle's favorite tea joke? Well, I can't remember how it starts, but the punchline is, Leave me alone. I'm bushed. <laughs> Maybe that's because he remembers the whole thing. <laughs> He has friends! Ah! <laughs> Speaking of tea... If someone was captured by the Fire Nation, where would they be taken? Oh, he's thinking of Suki? When the invasion plan failed, some of our troops were taken. Oh, okay. So he's thinking of like all of them. Mm, okay, are they gonna break them out? Because this episode's a part one. So part two must be them trying to get them out. Can't Toph feel you leaving? I'm gonna rescue my dad. You happy now? Well, what about the rest of them? <laughs> Look, I have to it's my mistake, and it's my job to. No, it's not. I have to regain my honor. Oh my god! You can't stop me, Zuko. Everyone in their fucking honor. Come on, Sokka. I know that there are consequences, and I know that you feel guilty for them. But he can't just solely take all that responsibility on him, bro. He needs to talk it out or something because. <laughs> we'll take my war balloon. Oh my god, a Zuko and Sokka episode? So interesting. What a dynamic. 
my god, it's so awkward. I love it. You didn't leave behind anyone you cared about? Not me. Everyone in the Fire Nation thinks I'm a traitor. I couldn't drag her into it. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough. <laughs> I can't believe they bonded over talking about their ex-girlfriends. God, how can you see? So what are we supposed to do? I don't know. But then how can you get out? Ah, ah! No one can hear that? Oh, dude, they're fucked. What? How are you gonna get out? Why Why did only those two go? Why couldn't the whole gang go? Because obviously, Katara can just move the water. Come on, guys. Guards, there's a scuffle in the yard. Come on. A little scuffle, a little tussle. Honestly, being in a area where it's hot, like, all the time, that must suck. Hate it when it's hot. Hey, new guy. I know it's the rule to have your helmet on at all times, but this is the lounge. Relax. Give it a week. He'll loosen up. Okay, so kind of a random thing that I like thought of. Like Zuko talking to those prison guards, maybe I'm just like analyzing it way too much, more than I ever should be, but their exchange, I don't know, like it kind of showed that they're just like regular people. The Fire Nation as a whole has always kind of really been like demonized, but they're just like regular people, just like following what orders and like what they have to do. I thought it was just interesting. That's why we call it the cooler. He won't be firebending in there. <laughs> it's the war. But, but like a regular person shouldn't be able to like withstand the cold like that. No one has ever, ever escaped from here. I'd sooner jump in the boiling lake myself than let that record fall. Now go back to your shivering. Did, did, he, did he come all the way over there just to say that? There are no water tribe prisoners. I'm afraid your father's not here. What? Are you Maybe sure they were lying. You know? Sometimes clouds have two sides, a dark and light, and a silver lining in between. It's like a silver sandwich. When life seems hard, take a bite out of the silver sandwich. He, he tried. Maybe How did he get an idea from that? That's a spirit. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> it's Suki! Prisoner! Sad <laughs> Save your girl, Sokka. You mean you don't recognize me? Then maybe you'll recognize this. <laughs> that did not work, bro. How did you think that was gonna work? How did you know who I am? How could I not? You broke my niece's heart. Wow, of course. So listen. I think I have an escape. They're gonna talk about that right there? Check out the coolers again. The whole point of them is to keep firebenders contained, right? To keep the cold in, it also has to keep the heat out. It's a perfect boat for getting through the boiling water. I'm telling you, it'll work. Okay. My god, Sokka is big ass brain. I heard you hatching an escape plan, and I want in. Yeah, the only thing worth Shut hatching up. is. <laughs> Shut <egg>. up. <sighs> okay, but Suki, you like that. No firebending. Into the cooler. Okay, solid plan. Is this gonna work out? Cause we're still on part one. New arrivals coming in at dawn. Some robbers, couple traitors, some war prisoners. Is it right for me to risk Suki's freedom? All of our freedom on the slim chance that my dad is gonna show up? Damn, that's a hard choice. How, how, how the hell, how the hell did they take that out? With no noise, what? You have to try every time. You can't quit because you're afraid you might- God, fail. I said the same hey, fucking thing, guys. I'm not leaving without you, Sokka. I'm staying too. Not me, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, good for them though. Ah, this current is so slow. <laughs> Dumbass. They literally couldn't just wait? Oh, I can't believe it. But what about the rest of them? Yeah. What about- Wait, what about the rest of the crew? Just him? I mean, I guess because like he's the father of like one of the leaders of the- Invasion, but I mean, I guess the prison is a bit small. They want to reserve it for like the most criminal of criminals. <laughs> All right, this is episode 15. Oh my god, it's him! It's him! Look me in the eye when I'm talking to you, then take a look! Ah. Fuck. Now look me in the eye! Don't fucking do it. Oh fuck, he did it. I just want that pirate to fucking speak so I can make fun of him again. Are you comfortable, Chitsu? Oh, he's gonna rat them out, huh? I'm not a squealer. I only ask you if you were comfortable. Oh shit. Damn, he accidentally fucking snitched on accident. I don't know if there's another way off this island. Bro, he is a so water no, bender. No he he can do it. Can hold. 
I didn't do anything wrong. Come on, Zuko. We all know that's a lie. Oh shit. Is she gonna help him? But I have to do this to save my country. Save it? You're betraying your country. That's not how I see it. Okay, okay, okay. How is this all gonna work out? The warden will still just cut the lines, even if we have a captain. Get the warden. Yes, the warden oh, the captain. One of you is an imposter who thought he could fool me. That person is going to be in a lot of trouble. Is he gonna snitch for real? I am not! Oh, He's lying. it's the guy- He's Oh, there. it's the guy who got him in the little cooler. Aha, sweet revenge. You're wasting your time. That's not one of them. Because I'm a people person. <laughs> Wait, I just realized that his dad does not know how to bend water. I'm a fucking idiot. Now all we need to do is grab the warden and get to the gondolas. And how do we do that? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, Suki is so cool. Love that. Sorry, Warden. You're my prisoner. Nice. Nice. Love that. That's some girl. Tell me about it. That's his girl. That's Sokka's girl. Ah! Oh my god, how well is this plan gonna work out? Is Azula in there? Oh, okay. Wait, who's that? Oh shit. Wow! Wow, innovative. Are we gonna see an intense battle right now? Oh my god, this is what I want to see. Cut the line! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I hope this thing floats. Oh my god, that boiling ass water. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, saving uh, the jerk who dumped me. Okay. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll rethink the whole Mei and Zuko thing. What is she doing? Is their friendship over or... Sorry, Warden. Your record is officially broken. <laughs> what I mean is she must have come here somehow. Oh, are you gonna... There! Oh, That's I thought they were gonna cut the other gondola. I never expected this from you. I'm Tylee right now. I guess you just don't know people as well as you think you do. I love Zuko more than I fear you. Oh shit. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh my god, they fucked up. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Put them somewhere I'll never have to see their faces again and let them rot. Damn, okay. My opinion has shifted a bit for me and Tylee. Hello everyone, this is Future Sophia interjecting. I'm doing this because I was editing this video and the portion where I was trying to explain my point was just very incoherent and I was like, I'm not putting that in the video. So I'm gonna re-explain what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, so first off, even though they had that beach episode where it seemed like they were all close, even then I pointed out that their friendship was toxic, yet they were still close. I mean, that can happen in real life. Like, people can have close but toxic friendships with each other. It would always seem like Mei and Tai Li were friends with Azula just because they feared her. Yeah, maybe Tai Li more than Mei. I feel like Mei was just very here or there, especially like during the episode where they were trying to drill a hole into Ba Sing Se, and Mei was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going into that mud water. When Tylee and Mei went against Azula, I thought they were too afraid to go against her, but with Mei, she wanted to protect Zuko, and Azula wasn't gonna have that. But then there was also Tylee, and it it goes back to like when we first saw these characters, when Tylee was at the circus, and she was like, no, I'm happy here, I don't want to leave, but Azula basically forced her by like burning down everything. It had always really been like Tylee that was most afraid of Azula. So it was really surprising that she was able to overcome that fear and went against her. I think this was a sort of like breaking point for them, you know? Like, we can't go with Azula any longer. So yeah, I hope that explanation made sense. Okay, goodbye. But uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Fuck. Did you at least get some good meat? I did. The best meat of all. I. The meat of friendship and- Don't 
refer to your dad as me. That was fun. I like that. So far, book three has been a whole lot of fun with these episodes. Mei really loves Zuko. And you know, like, at, at some extent, she did understand why Zuko did what he did. Damn, I cannot get over the fact that Tylee did that. Oh my god. To Azula? Good thing the most Azula's doing is, like, locking them up. She could have just destroyed them. Like, actually kill them. That was such an enjoyable episode. <sighs> now, like, their group is a little bigger, so what's gonna happen in the next few episodes? More training? Let's see. Oh, I hope Uncle Iroh comes back, like, soon. So. Okay, this is episode 16. I am about to celebrate becoming an only child! <laughs> God, Azula has no fucking chill. Oh, fuck! It's okay, he's gonna land on Appa, isn't he? He's gonna land on Appa. It's no problem, it's no problem. Never mind, never mind. We need to split up. The Fire Nation can't separate our family again. Damn, it's literally like been a day. Oh, he took her. He took his girl, Suki. Oh my god, is he finally gonna beat his sister? Because he can now firebend without anger. Fuck her up, Zuko. He can stop it. Ooh. Damn. She's not gonna make it. Of course she did. <laughs> She's resourceful. If you really wanted to feel like old times, I could uh, chase you around a while and try to capture you. <laughs> wow, he got jokes. I don't deserve this. Yeah, no kidding. What's with her? I wish I knew. Are you serious? She's still upset about her dad. Come on. What can I do to make it up to you? Maybe you could reconquer Ba Sing Se in the name of the Earth King. Or I know you could bring my mother back. That's not fair, Katara. But the bossing say thing, maybe. Oops. Wrong tent. Sorry. Do you need to talk oh to Oh my something? gosh, you're trying to sneak no, into her his not tent? Not. Well, hello. <laughs> were they gonna do what I think they were gonna do? I see you, Sokka. And I see you, Suki. I can respect it. I know this may seem out of nowhere, but I want you to tell me what happened to your mother. I think somehow she's connected her anger about that to her anger at me. We were badly outnumbered, but somehow we managed to drive them off. <laughs> the main ship had flags with sea ravens on them. The symbol of the southern raiders. What do you want? I know who killed your mother. And I'm going to help you find him. I see where the Zutara shippers come in. I need to We're going to find the man who took my mother from me. Oh um, and what exactly do you think this will accomplish? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't understand. How do you think I felt about the sandbenders when they stole Appa? How do you think I felt about the Fire Nation when I found out what happened to my people? Max. I think it's about getting revenge. Maybe that's what he deserves. Katara, you sound I thought like Oh my god, I thought it's the same, the same thing. thing. Katara, she was my mother too. But I think Aang might be right. Then you didn't love her the way I did. Oh my god, she said that. It's easy to do nothing, but it's hard to forgive. It's not just hard, it's impossible. Oh man, it's like, what Aang is saying is definitely true, but I mean, when you're that angry, everything else just does not seem possible. So you were just gonna take Appa anyway? Yes. It's okay. Because I forgive Shut you. up. Man, Appa is just flying everyone everywhere. I wanna be on... Aang side, but I, I kind of I kind of want some justice for Katara. On patrol near Whaletail Island. Dude, Whaletail that's Island the place that's like super fucking far. You should get some rest. No, don't you worry about my strength. I have plenty. I'm not okay, but you still need sleep. What? What if he's not there? What if he's like retired? What? Oh no, she's using the blood bending. Oh no, I don't I don't like that. I didn't think this was gonna be the situation that Katara uses bloodbending. Oh no. You must be looking for Yan Ra. He retired for Oh I years fucking ago. called it, I knew it! There's no way. Actually no, it's possible that he could have still been working, but still, you know. Yan Ra! You lazy piece of work! I need something! Forget your stupid garden! Get your grimy hiney to the market and buy me some real food! God. Nobody sneaks up on me without getting burned. Come on, dude, you're gonna start some forest fires. I mean, it's raining, so I guess not. Who is it? Who's the waterbender? There are no. Oh, did she say she was the waterbender? And then she sacrificed herself? She was protecting the last waterbender. Me! Damn. 
Damn. Oh my god. I did a bad thing. I know I did. And you deserve revenge. So why don't you take my <laughs> Now that I see you, I think I understand. Coward. There's just nothing inside you. Nothing at all. But as much as I hate you, I just can't do it. I knew I knew Katara wouldn't have it in her. Man, I'm still shocked she did bloodbending. I don't know if it's because I'm too weak to do it or if it's because I'm strong enough not to. You did the right You're thing. You're strong enough, Katara. Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. What are you gonna do when you face my father? That is the big question, huh? Yeah, I don't think I don't think he's gonna kill a Fire Lord. Maybe just capture him? Put him lock him away somewhere? I don't know. Or maybe someone else will kill him for a yeah, like, as much as Katara can be really emotional, like we've seen before, she has these strong morals, and, like, killing another person, it's just not her. God, the bloodbending bow. Oh my god, holy shit. Even Zuko was, like, shocked. But I feel like maybe she's not gonna use it again, because I feel like she's not gonna get as carried away as she was just then. Alright, this is episode 17. Doesn't it seem kind of weird that we're hiding from the Fire Lord in his own house? I told you, my father hasn't come here since our family was actually happy. And that was a long time ago. Since when were they all happy? We were just in town and we found this poster. <laughs> this is the kind of wacky, time-wasting nonsense I've been missing. Ooh, a fun episode. Let's see. Before all the destruction. All I want is a full feeling in my stomach. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> my jokes are way funnier than this. Good representation, though. And we must never relinquish it, even, even to our dying breath. <laughs> this is so dramatic. Water bend. Hi -ya! What the fuck? Oh my god. My stomach is so empty. Is she not wearing any pants? <laughs> oh, oh my god, they're gonna they're gonna get to Toph and she's gonna get so mad. It's on the wrong side of his face. Actually, I think that actor's pretty spot on. How could you say that? How could you say that? <laughs> they got everything to a T. How did they do that? Oh, why does she keep moaning? Wait, who's coming? I'm the blue spirit, the scourge of- Well, at least they got that wrong. <laughs> oh my god, they even got Jet. Look, it's the Great Divide, the biggest canyon in the The Great Earth Divide? Canyon. That's what they chose? Uh, to- Let's keep flying. <laughs> wow, it's like I'm re-watching every episode. But fast-forwarded. That woman playing the Avatar doesn't resemble me at all. I don't know. You are more in touch with your feminine side than most guys. There's nothing wrong with that. Here it comes. You can't find an earthbending master in the sky. I sound like a guy. A really buff guy. I wouldn't have cast it any other way. Okay, I was I was wrong. I released a sonic wave from my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? God, this whole play is poking at is poking fun at the whole series. I've had eyes for you since the day you first captured me. I thought you were the Avatar's girl. <laughs> Aang nodded. Avatar? Why he's like a little brother to me. False, false, false news. Katara right. is your girl. No, Don't worry about it. What does the cabbage merchant use to fix his cabbages? A cabbage patch. God, me as Suki. Did you really mean what you said in there? When you said I was just like a brother to you. Bro, that wasn't real. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were gonna be together, but we're not. They're gonna have the what are we talk right now? Aang, I'm sorry, but right now I'm just a little confused. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ah! Where was the consent? Oh no, Aang, that was that was not the move. Oh my god, Aang, no, 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 no. What the fuck, the consent? Okay, that was so bad on Aang's part, actually. As much as I want them to be get together, it's definitely not the right time. They literally have to, like, save the world right now. I think romance has to be put on the back burner. We went to the Fire Nation, and you got better, and Katara was the painted lady, and I got a sword, and I think Combustion Man died. Oh, look, it got the all the way to the third eye guy? Would you say you and Aang have a rocky relationship? <laughs> 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 
How did they get everything so accurately? Like, up to that point. How do they do that? It is you who are going down. It is you who are going down. And I'm unstoppable! Bruh, that's gonna make him so anxious about the real day. Really? They're gonna have the play end like that? That wasn't a good play. Oh, why did I even watch the series? I could've just watched this episode and been caught up. Man, my guitar and Aang ship, they already kissed twice. And then that has to happen. Aang, no, no, no. It's okay. I feel like Zuko is still hung on May. So it's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. I thought Uncle Iroh was going to come back in these few episodes, but I guess he'll come back when the time comes to defeat the Fire Lord. It's like how I said, like, the dynamic between Aang, Sokka, and Katara was completely different when Toph joined. And now it's, like, different when Zuko joined. And it's great. It is fulfilling my satisfaction, honestly. These episodes were pretty fun. We get to see Zuko's development in, like, not, like, the development from, like, bad to good. Because he's already, like, done that. But it's just, like, even more on the good side. And then we also saw Katara develop even more, like being able to forgive Zuko, trust him, and being able to, would I say she forgave that dude? I don't know, she she got the closure she needed, that's what she got. It's just making me wonder how everything is gonna, is gonna turn out. I already made my predictions in my last video. I said that Aang's probably gonna use Sozin's Comet to like get really powerful with firebending and he's literally literally gonna fight fire with fire. And then Uncle Iroh's gonna help out, Azula's gonna go down. I think that's all. That's it for me. I'll leave all my closing comments for the next video. If you like this video, give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to me if you want, and yeah, I'll see you guys for the very last Avatar video for the animated series. Goodbye! <laughs>